Hi, my friends. I hope that you enjoy this beautiful story. It's truly a delight when I find places that provide an environment to connect in a deeper way. I hope this story inspires you. Listening to each other is a very healing and profound experience your heart deserves. It happened on a very warm summer day in August in Sunrise, Florida. A few of my friends gathered with me to experience high tea at the coziest tea parlor. Now, close your eyes for a minute and imagine laughter, delicate teacups, dainty lace, the echoes of Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven. What a lovely place this tea parlor is. You can see the fingerprints of excellent beauty and elegance. It's truly a hidden gem. I had a conversation with Leah to find out how she started her tea parlor. One of the things she told me was that her house was always decorated like a tea parlor. Now let's hear a little bit of her story. How did this business unfold in your life? And can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure, sure. Um, from Yugoslavia, I was born in Yugoslavia, came here in 1970, I've been here a long time. And um, I was in the beauty industry for 30 years, so you know I didn't know much about tea, but I came across this tea room back in 2008 by Total accident. So, tell me the backstory. Tell you the backstory. Yeah. The whole backstory. Yeah, sure. All right, the Why whole backstory. So I was in the beauty business. Had my salon, and my hand gave out on me. So then, when my hairdresser that was renting space from me at the salon, she had moved somewhere else because I sold the salon. Never late for my appointments. I'm always either early or on time. So I'm walking on the sidewalk, and I see this little place so what in the world is this I said let me go in there and check it out so I walked in there music was playing everybody was in there with hats and stuff I said, what in the world? I said I've never seen anything like this in my life I didn't even I didn't know nothing about tea but I would keep going back every three weeks I would go back to her to buy stuff or just it, it looked like so peaceful and so relaxing that I just had to peek in there and, and just buy even if it was a spoon or buy a little something from the gift shop which I still have collection from that other tea room wow would you say that this was like like meant to be it probably was meant to be because it was out of the way where the tea room was at it was kind of on the side of the sidewalk not even by close by the salons for, for me to walk on that sidewalk to see what's in that shopping center it was probably meant to be should be pour me some of what kind of tea we have in there well today we have our house blend which is called Blue Heaven, has uh, kiwi, strawberry, and coconut. Mm. And uh, people love it, and we do sell a lot of it. We even uh, ship it. I can try, yes. I could cry for you. Why not? <laughs> We're going to give you a little warm up here. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, perfect. Never fill the cup to the top in case they want to add extra cream in there. How is it, Miss Lourdes? Oof. You like it? I remember this tea. Okay, well, there because you go. Because I had my wedding here. Yes. We were, that is another we story. We were honored to have your <laughs> wedding here. Now, it's time to present the stars of the afternoon. The amazing house tea and the lunch menu. They are served in two courses. It is important to say that they make all their food fresh and from scratch. Let's hear Leah explain our delicious lunch. Welcome to Tea Time once again. I'm going to do the explanation of the, the trays here. Our suggestion you start off with the scones first because they're nice and warm. You have a buttermilk scone, the cranberry scone. For the tea sandwiches, we have our cheese spread, our cranberry, uh, spinach, egg salad, cucumber with the tomato. Mm. And for the desserts today, we have a red velvet, brownie, chocolate covered wafer, madeleine, and a blueberry muffin, and the homemade uh, teapots too that are chocolate. Wow. They are edible. 
<laughs> if you want to eat them, okay? Beautiful. All right, you got your lemon curtic letter cream, you got little forks and little spreaders, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you, and you got your mimosas, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. Each kid, you after she takes the picture, uh, pictures, you take your own plate, okay? And you got your little forks. Um, if you, if you want one little plate, I'll bring you, but you got your plate. You're good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That's very lovely. Our conversations grew deeper. The giggles grew louder. I played a few songs on my guitar to bring some inspiration and to weed the hearts into togetherness, which has always been the desire of my heart. Let's hear a little piece of a song I composed called Funky Shoes. Listen to this lady. There to be you and nobody else. I know you're unique and special. You may take just a try with your funky shoes put on your step. Essence is true. Shoes for the moon, like Mr. Brown said. If you miss the stars, you'll see instead. Take the world and hold it with care. I'm sure you Friends are family to me. I treasure them dearly. The desire to connect with them, it's essential to me. As we were saying our goodbyes, we took pictures with each other. Some shopped in the little gift store. We all gave kisses and hugs to the staff and the owner, and my heart was full. For I love to see people smiling, connecting, and making new friends. After a long season of having to be alone and not seeing my friends, it is finally a new time. A time to leave the confines of my home, go out to connect with my friends and make new ones. We all came together at this beautiful quaint place that gave us the opportunity to weave our hearts with each other and truly connect. Will you join me in this quest? Perhaps tea time will be your next destination. Before I finish the story, I want to leave you with Brene's Brown definition of connection. It reads like this, the energy that exists between people when they feel seen, heard, and valued, when they can give and receive without judgment, and when they derive sustenance and strength from the relationship. I hope this story inspired you. And if you like these kinds of stories, you can subscribe to my blog, Journey into a Beautiful World. Life is full of possibilities. Till the next one, and thanks for watching. Peace.